First Chronicles chapter 3, verse 10. Now, chapter 3, what we've done, we've looked at all the sons, well, not all the sons, but all the sons of David, both in Hebron and in Jerusalem. Now, we're going to move on to Solomon, and we're going to see the kings of Judah to the captivity. And then we're going to venture to another part of the study out of this. So, verse 10, picking up from last night, and Solomon, line of Jesus Christ, Solomon's son was Rehoboam, line of Jesus Christ, Abiah, Jesus Christ, his son, Asa, Jesus Christ, his, so, his son, and Jehoshaphat, in the line of Jesus Christ, his son. And we're going along, we'll see again in Matthew chapter 1, this line, Joram, of the line of Jesus Christ, his son, Azahiah, his son, Joash, his son, Amaziah, his son, Azariah, line of Jesus Christ, his son, Joham, his son, a line of Jesus Christ, Ahaz, of Jesus Christ, his son, Hezekiah, of Jesus Christ, his son, Manasseh, in the line of Jesus Christ, his son, that's the longest reigning king, the most wicked king, his son, Amon of Jesus Christ, the son, Josiah, his son of Jesus Christ, and the sons of Jos Josiah were the firstborn, Jehonanim of Jesus Christ, the second, Jehoiakim, the third, Zedekiah, the fourth, Shalmon, which is Je Jehoaz. Now, some of the names in the Bible that cause troubles, they got other names, other spellings. Like Matthew, we're going to look already, there's different spellings. Well, Matthew is in the Greek, if I can say that. And the sons of Jehoiakim, Je, Je, yeah. Jeconiah, his son, and Zedekiah, his son. And we're going into captivity now. And the sons of Je, Je, or Je, Jeconiah, excuse me, Asher, Salathiel, in the line of Jesus Christ, his son. Macaram, also... Pediah and Shethither and Jacamiah, Hashema and Nehabiah. And the sons of Pediah were Zerubbabel. That's the last name mentioned in Matthew 1 as far as this list. You will not find any more names down to 24 in Matthew. Now, Matthew's got more names. Shimmerai and the sons of Zerubbabel. Mishima, you won't find out, or Hamniel, and Shalemith, their sister. So Shalemith is a daughter. Now notice, when it when there's a girl mentioned, it will say daughter. And Hashabeth, and Ohio, and Berechiah, and Hasadiah, and Jasheb, Jashahethith, five. The sons of Hananiah, Peliath, and Jashiah, the sons of Rephaiah, the sons of Arnan, the sons of Obadiah, the sons of Shechaniah, the sons of Shechaniah, Shemiah, the sons of Shemiah, Hittash, and Egil. Now these are the sons of David, and Baro, his family, of David, and Nairiah, and Saphat, six. The sons of Neriah, Eli, Oneo, Oniah, and Hezekiah, and Azarkim, three. The sons of Eloniah were Hodiah, Ishalaiah, <laughs> great names, and Peliah, and Akub, and Jonathan, and Galiliah, and Ananiah, seven. Now that's not the end, because we go back to these kings, and we get an interesting account here, because when we run these counts here, and when we look at Matthew, you can go to Matthew. Matthew has 13 kings while we just read 20 of them. So there are kings missing. And Matthew that is not found in the Old Testament list that we just read. And Matthew find Rehoboam, which is Rehoboam, Abiah, which is Abijah, Asa, Asa, Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, Joram and Jehoram, O, o, Oasis and Uzziah, 
Jonathan and Jonathan, you know, who's Jonathan, and Ahaz, spelling different, Ahaz, Ekaias, Hezekiah, Manasses, Manasseh, Amen is the same, Joaz, Josiah, Jeconias, and Jehoiakim. Now, the seven mess missing is Azahiah, Athaliah. Now, that is a woman. We're looking at the, the, the sons. And remember I said, if there's a woman in the list, it will say daughter or wife or there. She's totally wiped out. Joash, Amaziah, Jehoaz, Jehoiakim, and Zedekiah, though they're in the Chronicles, the Holy Spirit is said as far as recording in the line of Jesus Christ, his family, it's done. Don't, don't include their name. Now, Azahiah, 2 Kings 8, 25 to 27. In the twelfth year of Joram, the son of Ahab of Israel, did Azahiah, the son of Joram, king of Judah, began to reign. He reigned twenty two he reigned two and twenty years. Try to get, excuse me. Two and twenty years old was Azahiah when he began to reign. He reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Athaliah. That's that one woman king, queen. The daughter of Amri, king of Israel. We're into Ahab and the family of Ahab and Jezebel. That ought to give you a clue right there. He walked in the way of the house of Ahab and did evil in the sight of the Lord, as did the house of Ahab, for he had a son of law of the house of Ahab. So this guy, he is removed as a high because he is married into Jezebel and Ahaz. He is joined in the religion of Ahaz and Jezebel, and God says, wipe him off, Matthew. Wipe him off. Athaliah, again, she's the daughter of Am Amri, Jezebel, and Ahab. And they're, re they're looking their wicked religion of Baal and Ashtoreth. Wipe her out. She's a queen. She's not a king. Wipe her out. Joash, the next king, 2 Kings 12, 18, Jehoash, king of Judah, took all the hollow things that Jehoshaphat and Joram and Azahiah, his fathers, king of Judah, had dedicated and his own hollow things, and all the gold that was found in the treasures of the house of the Lord, and in the king's house, and sent it to Hazel, the king of Syria. And he went away from Jerusalem. So he's taken from God the gold. He steals from God. He's removing the gold off the temple to go to the Syrians and say, "Make hey, I'd rather rely on the Syrians than God. So his faith, more in man than God, God says, Wipe him off. Erase him. And which shows you with First Chronicles 3 and Matthew 1, God is able to wipe you off. And it's this wickedness after wickedness. And I'm not going to read, but Chronicles 24, 17 to 24. Jo Joash had a part of wickedness and murder of a prophet of God. So God says, hey, you want to rely on man? You want to kill my prophet? Okay, you're removed from Matthew chapter 1. I'm just giving the short form. I'm reading out of my commentary of Matthew. And Amaziah, in the second year of Joash, son of Jehoaz, king of Israel, reigned Amaziah, the son of Joash, king of Judah. He was 25 years old when he began to reign. He reigned 20 and 9 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jehodad of Jerusalem. He did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, yet not as David his father. Well, that's kind of interesting. If he did that was right, let's see, 2 Chronicles 25, 14 through 6. Now it came to pass after Amaziah was come from the slaughter of the Edomites that he brought the gods of the children of the seer and set them up to be his gods in Jerusalem, and bowed down himself before them, and to burn incense unto them. Wherefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against Amaziah, and he sent unto him a prophet, and said, What hast thou sought after the gods of the people, which could not deliver their own people out of their hand? And it came to pass, as he talked with him, the king said, 
Art thou made a king's counselor? Are you one of my royal subjects? Forbear. Why should thou be smitten? Then the prophet there and said, I know that God is determined to destroy thee, because thou hast done this thing. And Amaziah would not fear, he came and would not come to God. He sought after other gods. So he won't listen to God. He's brought another religion back into Jerusalem. And for his rebellion against God and God's prophet, wipe him off the list. Jehoaz, and you find in 2 Kings 23, verses 31. I'm not going to read the whole thing anymore. I'm just going to read the sins. He did that was evil in the sight of the Lord. Uh, he gave tribute to fun Pharaoh Nico. He was he was evil and done evil, evil that has been taught from his father, from his father, from his father. He relied on Egypt. He did not do what, that what was right, and God said, "Wipe his name off." Jehoiakim. 2 Kings 23, 36. Uh, he did evil in the sight of the Lord, according to his fathers. And Jeremiah 26 to 20. And there was also a man that prophesied in the name of the Lord, Uriah, the son of Shemaliah of Kirch of Jerem, who prophesied against the city and against this land, according to all the words of Jeremiah. When Jehoiakim the king, with all his mighty men, with all his princes, heard his words, the king sought to put him to death. But when Uriah heard it, he was afraid, fled, and went to Egypt. And Jehoiakim the king sent men into Egypt, namely Ethanel the son of Achor, and certain men of men with him into Egypt, and fetched forth Uriah out of Egypt, and brought him to Jehoiakim the king, who Jeremiah uh, So here's a prophet that came to Jehoiakim. And Jehoiakim puts him to death. Seek, he runs off to Egypt. He seeks him to death. Now, this is interesting. Look at Jeremiah 36. Jeremiah 36. And I don't realize this is the king. In Jeremiah 36, verses 23. This is Jehoiakim. He's wiped off. Jeremiah 36, 23. And it came to pass that when Jehud, when Jehudai had read three or four leaves, he cut it with a penknife and cast it into the fire that was on the hearth, until all the world was consumed in the fire that was on the hearth. So when Jeremiah is told from God to have uh, a Baruch write the word of God, and it's read before the priests and the scribes, like, oh man, we're in trouble. Let's bring this to Jehoiakim. And they read it before the king, and he starts cutting it. And he throws it on the fire. God says, okay, you're going to burn my word? Erase him. From Matthew chapter 1. Zedekiah, just wickedness. Zedekiah, you go into captivity. That's when you go into captivity. So back to Chronicles. What a line that David has here of the kings. And I said in 1 Chronicles 3.19, that's Zerubbabel. That is the last name in Matthew. I can't find any other names listed in Matthew. And this would be also, verses 10 to 19, this is the, the line of Joseph, the adopted father. Of Jesus Christ, where by adoption Jesus has this claim to the Judah throne of David. When Gabriel tells Mary, "You shall get, you shall give birth to a son; you shall call his name Jesus. He shall sit on the throne of David." Where Pilate nailed on that uh, above his head, King of King, I mean not King, the King of the Jews. And Revelation 19 says he's King of the Kings. Here's that royal decree right here, and you match it with Matthew chapter 1. And you'll find seven, well, six missing kings. The seventh person is that is that woman, and she, she won't be in this list. So, with scripture, when you study, it's not so boring. 
when you find it in other places. And we have the whole family of David here for one reason. Christ came out from David. Solomon, Rehoboam, Abiah, Asa, Jehoshaphat, Joram, Azariah, Ahaz, Hezekiah, Manasseh, Amon, Josiah, Jonathan, Shalomatheo, and Zerubbabel. Good kings and bad kings. And when you got these six kings here, just wicked and vile guys, so just erase their name. That's interesting. Because there's a land's book of life. And those who are not found in Lance Book of Life, when it comes to the great white throne judgment, they're cast off in a lake of fire that burns forever. Now, again, Solomon's name there, Asa, Jehoshaphat, the names that I told you of Christ, are these men going to be in glory when we see them? Well, you're missing Azahiah, Miss Joash, Amaziah, Jehoiakim, Zedekiah, Shalom, which is Jehoah. You're missing those names. I don't think you're going to see them in glory. Though their name is in Chronicles, they're not in the line of Jesus Christ. Chronicles is a book of men. Matthew is a book of the King Jesus Christ of the Jews. And there are missing people. And I wonder how many people have ever, oh, you know, Chronicles is boring. Matthew, you got the three kings wrong. But do you ever have you ever realized that in the genealogy of Jesus Christ, except for from this outline and this study tonight, you ever realize that six of those kings were missing? Seven counting a queen. Study has showed thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. And then when you do a study of those kings that are missing, hmm, you better do right. 